Great. Thanks. Happy to help. Help desk, this is Jane. Yes, hello, Jane. Bob Jacobs here in the UK office. How are you today? Well, great, Bob. How can I help you? Well, I know that we are about to start deploying Windows XP company-wide, but I missed the 30-minute manager training session they held Tuesday last. Now, I I've got a new notebook, complete with Windows XP, and I believe it's the same one that your people built for the managers of the other regions. My question is, what is the quickest way for me to get up to speed on XP before the next training session? Well, do you have a few minutes? Yes. Windows XP has this great new feature called Remote Assistance. I can temporarily take control of your desktop, with your permission, of course. You can see everything that I'm doing on your own screen as I walk you through it. Uh, sorry, Jane, you did hear that I am in the UK office, not exactly around the corner, you know. Uh, not a problem, Bob. <laughs> Let me send you a remote assistance request. When you see the box pop up on your uh, laptop, just go ahead and hit OK and we can get started. Oh, right away, Bob, you can see that Windows XP has a much cleaner looking desktop. But of course, if you like all those icons up there, be our guest. You can go back to the classic Windows view anytime and it won't affect any of your Windows 2000 server environments like policies or joining domains, wizards, software and settings. Another great feature that I'll bet you use all the time, if you go down to the bottom of the screen and click on the taskbar, up pop the icons for all the apps that you have running. You can shut them down one at a time or you can go ahead and close them all at the same time. Fancy that. Then, if we look at the control panel features, you'll see that it's more task-based, so it's clear what the functionality is. For instance, you'll notice that there are task items next to the icons here, network and internet connections, printer and other hardware and so on. I love this feature. That's brilliant. A couple more things, Bob. Say you want to look for a document in your My Documents folder. See how you get a much simpler and clearer idea of what's in the folder? Plus, you can sort it any way you like. Terrific. Well, Jane, I really have to go now. Um, XP looks so inviting. Thank you for all the help, and I'll give you a ring if I have any other problems. Cheers. Oh, by the way, my group has created some online introduction materials that cover some of the training that you missed. I'll email you the link, and cheers to you, too. Let me see. Jane mentioned how to find this feature. Hey, Bob. Didn't know you were so technical. Well, Edward, it is a little known fact that I am the author of all things technical. Ah. I'm just pretending to have difficulty, you see, so as to appear like a, a regular bloke. Ah. Actually, I was just heading into the help and support feature of Windows XP to see if I could find an answer to my printing problem. Ah. Can't print, eh? Usually when one has a printing problem, that's what happens, yes. Wow. Look at all that info. It must have taken someone a long time to type all that in there. From what Jane at the help desk said, this feature contains a myriad of Microsoft help information. Huh? Laid out so that even a techie such as myself can find what I need. Perhaps even you could do it, Edward. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I could do it. I just say, Jimmy. Yeah, that's my teenage boy. I say, Jimmy, come here and fix me computer. Huh? <laughs> Splendid. Well, just in the time that you and I were discussing world problems, I've been able to walk through my problem to a great solution. <sighs> Done. Now let's have a go at printing out that report. Uh, glad I could help, Bob. Just call me if you ever need anything. Thank you, Edward. Now I'll just save this help link to my favorites, and off we go. And then we had three calls wanting to know where their mouse was. <laughs> Eight calls saying they couldn't find their car keys, and 22 saying that someone had mysteriously downloaded something off the internet onto their computer, and now their machine wouldn't work. Sounds like we have more of a people problem than a software problem. <laughs> yes, but I think Windows XP can help us there, too. How do you mean? Windows XP has a huge store of help knowledge in their help and support feature. Users can access the entire help database online. Really? Yeah. It's almost like they don't need us at the help desk for software problems. Well, Jane, could you give us an example of how people would use the help and support feature in real life? Sure. Yeah. Can you get the lights? One of our biggest problems is that our employees will sometimes go online and download a program that's not compatible with our system. Sometimes a game or something that can wreak havoc. Here's a typical Windows XP desktop. The person goes up to the net and downloads a multimedia app. They install it and start to play it. 
everything's fine. But the next time they reboot their machine, they could get an error message saying that the application is disabled. And then they call us in a panic because someone has done something to their machine and it's acting funny. And this happens a lot? It happens all the time. Wow. But XP has this great new feature called System Restore. It actually goes back in time on any one of our 30,000 desktops and restore it to its previous state before they or someone did something to it. Every user is able to manually designate what are called restore points on the system. It remembers that configuration and goes to that certain date. So if something happens, it can go back in time. Plus, when you install an application, the system will automatically mark a restore point. So you can go back to the way it was before that application was installed. Well, what about Word documents and other data files they've created after the restore date? Do they get rolled back too? System Restore only touches the system. It has no effect on applications or data files. Uh, Jane, what if I really goof something up and I just can't get it to work? Well, the user can always go to the installed by IT support restore point that we put in when we rolled out the XP. That'll take them back to square one. What if they install a device, a camera or external drive of some sort? Well, XP has us covered there, too. There is a feature called device driver rollback that will do essentially the same thing as system restore. It resets the system to where it was before they tried to install the device. Well, people ought to know about you, but I'm sold. Easy for users, saves help desk time, and it'll save the company a ton of money. All in favor, raise your hands. Yeah. Done. Any questions? Uh, yeah, Jane, it seems like XP for Windows is going to be so effective that, uh, well, Jane, you're going to have some, some time on your hands.